Alrighty, Locky Dam. The water's wicked warm. All of a sudden the sun just went in. I hope it's not going to rain. So, you can tell we're not too far from the highway. It's really thick vegetation here. It's a little tough paddling. As you, when you put your paddle and you pull it up, you're getting caught in all the uh, vegetation. There's a little channel right here that we can get through. I've been seeing some huge, I guess they're the largemouth bass. Right. Uh, are we gonna make it through this area? I don't know. It's pretty darn thick. Do that or over on that side. All right, Chris is up ahead. He's found another opening. This is a little difficult, guys. Yay, an open area. There's the swans. And an airplane. About ready to go under 146. That's as far as we're going. There's several trees down. This is how far we went last year too when we were canoeing. All right, well, I guess we're gonna be turning around. Good place for a snack. Gotta love my apples. And homemade date bars. Chris found some cool mushrooms over there. And there's a big hole in the, by that tree. We keep wondering if maybe the beaver or something might come out. Because there's another beaver den up here. Those beavers are very, very busy here in Massachusetts. So coming back, we stayed far over to the right. And it's definitely a lot easier than it was when we came in like way over there with all the thick lilies and other plants still there is a lot of vegetation here we've been seeing tons of great blue herons it's awesome and there's so many dragonflies and damselflies well i can't think of a better way to spend a friday well it's not a friday it's a saturday <laughs> a saturday morning and afternoon i really love kayaking and canoeing so i hope everybody has had a great day peace love and joy always be humble always be kind well, we're at the end of our paddle. We're back at Locky Dam. What a great day.